morning, my name is Guido Costamagna, I am the director of the uh, endoscopy unit uh, at the Policlinico Gemelli of the Catholic University in Rome. And my co-authors uh, in this study were Vincenzo Bove, Andrea Tringali, Pietro Familiari, Giovanni Gigante, Ivo Boscoschi, Vincenzo Perri from Rome and Massimiliano Mutignani who is now in Milano. The title of the article is ERCP in patients with prior bureau 2 gastrectomy, report of a 30-year experience. Uh, ERCP in patients with altered uh, uh, anatomy is a, or, almost always a challenging procedure and uh, many patients with bureau 2 reconstruction uh, were sent uh, to our endoscopy unit uh, with an indication for therapeutic ERCP. Uh, during these 30 years, uh, we performed more than 1,000 ERCP in Bureau 2 patients. And uh, thus, uh, we decided to review this uh, huge experience uh, with an aim at evaluating uh, the learning curve, the results, and the complications. Uh, I think that the analysis uh, of uh, our data uh, can provide uh, an useful information for other endoscopists. And um, furthermore, of course, we have data that uh, can be useful uh, to inform uh, our uh, next patients with BIRA2 um, reconstruction uh, in terms of uh, risk, uh, complication, and uh, success rates. So the study evaluated uh, the technical success and the rate of ERCP related adverse events, their management uh, in this. Uh, uh, cohort of patients. Uh, we had uh, 713 patients uh, who underwent uh, 1,050 ERCPs in, uh, in this period. Uh, the uh, Dodella stamp intubation was uh, uh, close to 87% and the cannulation of the desired duct once uh, in the Dodella stamp was also quite high, it was 94%. Uh, in, uh, in our center, uh, we have always started uh, uh, the ERCP examination with a side viewing uh, dodenoscope. Uh, since this endoscope uh, uh, is much more appropriate for, uh, su for um, subsequent successful cannulation because of the presence of an elevator and the position in front of the papilla, even if the papilla is upside down. Uh, the uh, sphincterotomy was usually performed uh, with, uh, at the beginning, a homemade uh, sphincterotom, sigmoid inverted sphincterotom, used uh, over a guide wire, which is now also produced by a small uh, company here in Italy. Uh, this sphincterotom automatically uh, takes the 6 o'clock position and uh, permits a very controlled cut. Uh, the main risk of uh, the use of a duodenoscope in bureau 2 gastrectomy is uh, uh, perforation of the afferent tube. Uh, in our series, we uh, experienced uh, 19 perforation, which means uh, a little bit less than 2%, so it's quite an important uh, rate of, of uh, complication. And uh, one trick that we find uh, uh, useful to uh, uh, understand the anatomy of uh, the afferent loop in case of long and angulated afferent loop is to push a guide wire blindly in the afferent loop, uh, a catheter over it, and then some conscious medium in order to depict radiologically the afferent loop and uh, decide uh, if the risk uh, have uh, the risks uh, have to be taken or not. So uh, if the loop is very angulated, uh, uh, usually we stop and we try with a forward viewing endoscope. Uh, cannulating uh, the desired duct may also be um, uh, challenging. Uh, we find useful uh, the bendable catheter in order to address the, uh, the axis toward the bile duct. Uh, more easily, and as I said before, for sphincterotomy we use an inverted uh, sigmoid sphincterotome over a guide wire. Uh, 
uh, according to our data, uh, the learning curve uh, for advanced CSCP mirror to patients uh, increases uh, after 50 patients. And uh, so probably this is a procedure that should be uh, limited to uh, big uh, tertiary referral centers that have enough patients to become uh, uh, experts and, um, in this kind of procedure. Uh, a potential evolution uh, and alternative to the use of the denoscope in the to patient is the balloon assisted enteroscopy which is now very often used also in patients with anatomy of other uh, types, other kinds, uh, like after uh, UNY uh, gastric bypass or uh, UNY uh, hepatic jejunostomy. The problem is that the forward viewing scope uh, uh, has a different axis uh, uh, to the papilla and uh, the lack of uh, dedicated uh, accessories uh, to be used with the long uh, endoscope. Uh, maybe it could be a good idea to uh, analyze in a prospective way, in a randomized way, these two uh, types of, of uh, access, uh, the good endoscope versus uh, balloon-assisted endoscope. Uh, this is the uh, end of this presentation, and uh, I think that uh, due to the high number of patients, uh, even if it's a retrospective study, uh, this data can be used uh, usefully from uh, uh, endoscopist colleagues that are uh, starting uh, with ERCP uh, in difficult situation like this, uh, but also for experienced endoscopists that have already uh, experienced and numbers uh, in the uh, environment to be strengthened. Thank you and bye-bye.